So guys, after watching this video, you will know everything what you need to know about getting your products on Amazon and how to find your forwarder. Make sure you stick to the end because we're also going to show our own experience and the mistakes we have made. First of all, it's not necessary to wait till your shipment is done. If your manufacturers start producing your products, then you can already start researching for your forwarder. The only thing that you need to know is the approximate amount of the dimensions, the cartons and all the other variables of your shipment. In that way you can already do a little bit market research of how much is it going to cost me and with what company I'm going to work with. The first information that you need are all the variables about your shipment. So there are a few. You need to know the quantity of your products, what kind of products are you going to sell, how many cartons, the weight. The dimension of the products in cubic meters and total pallets and the shipping address so obviously you don't know already the shipping address because you only know the shipment address if you make the shipment already in the amazon seller central but just guess one because you know already that you're going to send your products for example to germany and just guess an amazon warehouse and it will be a little bit different in the cost in the end but it will not be a lot different and in this way you can do already your research so there are three different types that you can choose you can choose to send your shipment by sea by train or by air so by sea is obviously the most cheap one this option will cost you the most time but if you make the most money and have the best return on investment this is actually the best way the only thing that you need to keep in mind is have a good eye on your inventory because you don't want to get out of stock. Then you got the train fright, this will be the middle one, and then you got the air fright. With air fright, it will be a lot more expensive, but your products will be really fast by Amazon. So if you're getting almost out of stock, it can be sometimes handy to just do an air fright. But most of the time, we are using sea fright because it's the cheapest one, and then we got the best return on investment. Then there are four ways to search for your forwarder. The first one is just get it through your manufacturer. A lot of manufacturers who are having good contact with the forwarders already and have already good experience as well with sending shipments to Amazon because sending a shipment to Amazon is totally different than sending a shipment to your house. Forwarders need to make an appointment with the Amazon warehouse to get the products in. So it's really important that your forwarder knows already this process and have experience as well. If you get your forwarder through your manufacturer, make sure that you will have contact yourself as well. You want to check this company, you want to read some reviews, and you just want to be sure if this company is trustworthy. Then you got Alibaba. If you go over here to Alibaba and you're just searching for a freight forwarder, you see already that there are a lot of listings of companies that are providing their services here for the freight forwarding. You can already make your choice over here if you want to see freight or air freight. And for example, if you want sea fright, then you just click over here. And then all the companies who are providing the service for sea fright are already listed here. Just as we explained in our manufacturer research, we're just doing it exactly the same way. We're searching over here for, for how long is this company already listed on Alibaba? Is it a gold supplier? Do they got trade insurance? Because that's also really important. And as well as a manufacturer research, we just make a template mail for all the variables that we know about the shipment. And then we're going to send this template mail to 10 or 15 companies and check what company will provide us the best price. And as well, what are the risks of the company and is this company trustworthy? Also guys, keep in mind, again, know that this company has experience with sending products to Amazon. Then we got Google search. If we're just searching on Google, for example, we're going to send our products to Amazon Germany. And over here, we just type in Fright Forwarder Germany. Then you will get a lot of companies who are providing the services. Again, know for sure that this company has experience with sending the products to Amazon FBA. You really don't want a company that is not having experience with this. Then the next option is word of mouth. So a lot of Amazon FBA sellers are already giving their forwarder on YouTube. Or giving them in a blog and word of mouth is always a really good one to work with because then you're sure that another FBA seller has already worked with this company one thing that's really important that you need to check if you're searching for your freight forwarder 
is this freight forwarder experienced with Amazon? Because shipping to an Amazon warehouse is totally different than when somebody needs to ship the products to just a home address. Because when a forwarder is sending in the products to Amazon, they need to make an appointment. And this is another process. So just make sure that you've got a company that is working already with Amazon FBA shipments. Then just send down some mails, um, do a little bit of research and check what company will give you the best offer for your shipment. For the cost of your forwarder, you could take a little benchmark of 60% of your shipment. This is an approximate amount that you need to spend on your shipment because for example, if you take a sea shipment or a train shipment, obviously it will be different. And as well, it depends on the cartons, the weight and all the dimensions of your products and all the other variables. But guys, take one thing in mind, you will get your tax back. So make sure that you got your ERI number, that you got your company registered and that you got your VIT number and give all these numbers and all the information of your company as well to this forwarder because in that way you will make sure that you will get your tax back afterwards. As well, make sure that the company will send you an invoice because if you get the invoice, because then you know for sure that you will get your tax back. And otherwise the shipment will cost you a lot of extra money that's not necessary. So guys, I just talked about the ERI number. In another video, we will tell you more about the ERI number. The ERI number is just about when you're importing and exporting products into Europe, then you need this number. And if you don't have this number, you can get in trouble. But in another video, we will explain everything about this. Then there are some Amazon requirements. So as we already said, we're going to send our products to the Amazon warehouse. And Amazon wants your products to be on a Euro pallet or in a container. So those are two options to send your products to Amazon because otherwise they don't accept it. Also the dimensions of the cartons are important to check up front. Know how big your cartons can be and check it always on their website and check them with the manufacturer if the cartons are the right dimension for the Amazon requirements. So guys, let's share our experience. First of all, when we started selling on Amazon, we just let our manufacturer take care of our forwarder. And our manufacturer was working with this forwarder and the shipment went actually really good, but we didn't give her tax number and we didn't give her URI number. So we weren't able to ask her tax back. And this cost us a lot extra money actually. So we learned from this mistake and now we know if we're going to work with the forwarder of the manufacturer or the forwarder that is working together with the manufacturer that we just need to get in contact with them and give all the information about the company so in that way we will be able to get our tax back as well for this shipment. Then for our second order we were working with Gunmeister. Gunmeister is a company based in Germany and they're as well a forwarder company and actually it works pretty well with them. Our mail contact with them was really good and they helped us out as well. And they helped us out with our ERI number and all the other information. We were able to ask for tax back this time, so that was really good. Um, we had some problems because we were sending in the products just before Christmas, so obviously we got a little bit of delay and then we were out of stock for about a week, so that was not too good. But the positive thing is that we really learned from this order is that you need to send your shipment in a lot before Christmas because in that way you will not get out of stock and the Christmas period is obviously really important. I thought it was uh, the end of November that we got a little bit delay with this shipment. And for our next shipment we worked together with a company of Alibaba and we just did like a manufacturer research, a forwarder research in Alibaba and this shipment was actually really great. We worked together with this company and there were no problems actually at all. We were able to get a tax back and our order was on time as well. And then there are two big next steps actually, because you need to make your shipment in the Amazon Seller Central ready. The other step is getting your ERI number. We're going to make two new videos to get really in depth about these subjects and we'll post this, these videos really soon. So guys, make sure you're going to watch these videos subscribe to your channel to make sure you will get a notification of these videos and if you got any questions searching for your forwarder just comment below and we're more than happy to help you thank you for watching